Hello YouTube, what's going on today? Now we will learn walk using the grid system from the Sketch App 3. Okay, when you design the website, it must be the responsive web design. And uh, one K of golden to success it, you need the grid system. Okay, guys, so I will show you how to using it. Open your sketch and now we need the artboard. You can press the A on your keyboard and I will choose the desktop and here we go. This is my artboard. So I will design the landing pads using this artboard. I will setting up my heads to be 700 and 68 okay and now we active the grid view so layout them this is my grid you don't need to download again about the grid bootstrap from the website you don't need because the sketch have the grid system okay guys it's so specially moment Okay, now we will design the landing pads. I will create the rectangle from my header and I'm setting the heads to be 14. Okay guys, and we can recess it but the weight and I'm disable the border colors and I will make this rectangle to be top okay oops okay guys so I will change the background color change the background color to be gradients like this and I'm setting up the my color to be my favorite color and the second color Like this guys, it's gradient color. And now we need the basic logo from our website. I will create the basic logo using the text. The logo is must be hmm. okay. Sorry, uh, it's bad name. I will choose the name is Alessiana. It's my favorite name, guys, as you know. And we need the little bit of icons, just uh, ornament. Hmm. I will using the simple line icons. Okay, where is where is like hmm. Okay, so I will choose this sketch logo. Oops. Okay, I will change the color to be white and I will move it, guys, like this. Okay, so I will make it group. To be logo and change the rectangle one to be background and now we can group it again to be header it's working like this and now we can show the layout and move the logo 
to be tops and give the margin top one two three okay using the shift key when you remove down the text and now we tap something again for the our navigation insert text and you can tap sorry home I will resize the font size like this and the width to be both okay and give the space is h 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 home and features 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and the news and the last is about okay so I will make it center okay like this guys and to the right okay like this guys this is the our header and you can type something like um, hello world or anything else so I will create the text right here like uh, welcome to Alicia we can recess the font and just the fonts this and now I will make it center welcome to Alicia and we can type again something else right here and change the font size to be 13 and you can type like a lorem if oops it's Sorry guys, I will open my file for the lorem ipsum. Okay, <laughs> it's like uh, just copy file. Okay, we just need the little bit of text. and you can view the layout and we just need to reset guys like this all right okay guys this is the caption caption I will make the ornament I will copy this layer and change the to be area black the size like this Okay, it's it's only the ornament guys. Don't be seriously. And uh, main point, we can divide the columns. This is for header. Sorry, this is for logo. Our navigation, caption, header, and now we create the something else like this. We will create the four elements. Sorry, we, we will create the three elements. So, 
12 divided the 3 is 4 it's the div it's divide it must be four columns 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and the last is 1 2 3 4 and now we create the rectangles a rectangle like here like this guys and now we can change the color to be what you want hmm. like this case for the white colors and we can copy this layer And now we research the below of layer to be backgrounds. Like this. And we can make the shadow. Like this guys. Okay, like this. And now we will create the um, little bit of contents, but I need the icon first. And change the font size. It must be large again, like this. Okay, it's enough. We can type something else like this. Like, um, sorry. Hack resolution. Okay, yes. Center. We will group it, guys, and make it center. Okay. And now we group it again to be content one. Sorry, to be features one. And this is the background, and we can group again to be features. And this is the content. Okay, I will change the color to be blue, and this is to be blue. like this or you can test the gradient color if you need it just go into fill and gradient colors and now you can setting up the colors like this guys it's good yes and now we just need to copy this copy these elements features we can duplicate and give the name is features 2 and move into the beside of feature 1 we can view the layout like this case and we can duplicate again change the name to be feature c okay it's enough 
it's only the basic icon you can change the icon you can change this icon 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 or anything else like picture so this is the landing page using the grid system and the next tutorial we will make it the landing page to be mobile okay but now we just design the versi desktop version and next tutorial we will design the mobile version okay guys see you the next tutorial